My name is Corey Rast. Uh, I'm a manager at Columbus Park Ramen Shop. Um, so this is the show you ramen uh, that I have right here. Um, so all these bowls are kind of handcrafted Paul Mallory bowls that we use. He's a local uh, artist, uh, so a lot of time and effort went into these. Um, so what you do whenever you come to the ramen shop uh, before you get the bowl is, you'll see the, the rules outside. Um, so you'll want to sign in. You always want to kind of find the sign-in sheet. Sometimes it's hanging outside, sometimes it's inside. Uh, you'll just kind of let us know how many are in your party. Uh, we do our best to kind of get you set. Um, as quickly as possible, but the whole concept is to eat uh, your ramen quickly, not necessarily because this is such a small space, but just because that's the way it should be enjoyed, it's just uh, fast and hot. So whenever I get um, my bowl of ramen, I always want to use the spoon first, that's kind of where I go to first. It's kind of the only time that I really ever use a spoon, but it's so that I can taste the broth, because that's kind of where I guess like the heart and soul of it is, that's where the most time is spent, is in the broth. So I'm always going to use the spoon, um, just get some of the broth and uh, give it a little taste. And that's where you can kind of see kind of where all the flavors are. Uh, the flavors in the broth are definitely sort of complemented by the garnishes that we use, so um, I always want to taste the broth first. Uh, so you're going to use chopsticks, most people are comfortable using chopsticks, but we have helpers. Uh, for anyone that, that doesn't feel comfortable, um, so they make chopstick holding easy. Uh, also a fork, like never be afraid to ask for a fork. Um, but I usually take the chopsticks. Um, I kind of just mix up my garnishes or, or kind of like the goodies here uh, to be able to sort of experience it all together. Um, a lot of people with their egg, they're kind of specific I just kind of leave them off to the side some people will break them up some people will like eat them with the spoon right away um, but I just kind of leave it there um, so what you're going to want to do is take some noodles kind of a conservative amount I would say um, definitely you don't want to get a whole mouthful of noodles necessarily all at once but I kind of just dip the noodles back into the broth get them kind of coated and then uh, Um, I say like a loud, unapologetic slurp because what you're doing when you slurp is sort of aerating the broth, aerating the noodles. So not only are you helping to cool it off before it gets into your mouth, but you're helping uh, to kind of get a lot of those flavors in the broth alive. So um, yeah, that's kind of it.